Welcome to Land Musings. This week I am doing a plan with me video and this is to set up my August pages. I did skip last month's plan with me video just because I just didn't have time and also I wanted to change up the content a little bit but um, we're going to do August today. And the decorative elements that I'll be using in my August pages will be by our studio. This is the Desk of a Botanist Pet Tape. And I've already cut these up so you can watch me stick them down and just, I guess, watch my process. What I want to do first though, because I haven't thought about this just yet, um, is stick a couple stickers in my Months in Themes page. Just because they're a specific size, it needs to fit in this little rectangle and I just want to make sure I use the stickers that fit in here first and I don't run out of those stickers. <laughs> not sure if that makes sense, but it does in my head. There's not that many stickers that fit in this box, so I'm just trying to figure it out. I like the green book, but I just feel like it might be too much. The leaves is not enough. Maybe a little safety pin with this. Mm, no. Oh, I do like this little calligraphy pen with the feather. I like it when the sticker kind of um is a little too big for the box if you know what i mean like it goes outside of the lines this combo looks good i remember cutting out a little circle piece and i'm just trying to look for that here there it is let me just grab that oh yep yeah, that's the combo i think i'm gonna settle with this Okay, super happy with that. I am loving how this page is coming along. Let's keep going. I'm going to now decorate my month pages. I always like to use a little washi tape for the left hand side. This one I just bought yesterday. It's um, just this beigey toned washi tape by Yohaku. And I've been wanting this one for a while and it's been sold out so I was so pleasantly surprised that Bookbinders had it in stock. So I picked up that and a few other stationery items. Okay that took a couple goes but we finally got there <laughs> and the spacing is to my liking. I usually stick down the biggest sticker um, width-wise in this left-hand page at the bottom here just because it's a space I don't really use too much and I know I'm not going to regret <laughs> covering up that space. And I'm just going to pick some accent stickers for my week's pages before I proceed with decorating the months. I usually try to go for the medium sized stickers just so that it stands out on the page. Now I think there's five weeks in August that I need to decorate. Let's just check here. One, two, three, four and five. Yeah, five weeks. So five medium sized decorative pieces. Um, just got to think through this. I also like to change it up a little, I don't want it to be like notebooks on every page. So maybe some pages with floral stickers and some pages with notebooks. Okay, so I've set those aside now and I'm just going to start decorating this month on two pages spread. Thank you. 
I forgot to mention, these are the stickers that I used for the um, month on the left hand side and I've got this font as well. So they're from my shop Happy Mail Studios. I'll pop the link down below if you're interested in purchasing them. On this spread I also like to pop in my media stickers. I usually use the TV shows and movies stickers so I will do the same for August. I actually just pop in a lot of my um, boop stickers and off cuts in this TN sticker release insert so that I can use them myself and that they don't go to waste. I feel like logging your media consumption on the monthly spread or anywhere really in your notebooks kind of helps you remember the things that happened in that month. Um, it kind of helps me rehash the things that I did and consumed and just that month in general. I don't know if I'm making sense again, um, but it's just a good way for me to summarize my month I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay that is done and I like the way that's looking. So let's move on into the weeks pages and I've already reserved those stickers for the five weeks and I usually just pop them in that bottom right hand corner. And so far this year, I've kind of been doing the same thing in terms of decoration in my Hobonichi weeks. Every single month, I guess also every single week. And um, that's inclusive of the layout of my habits, meals and tasks. And also how I use the bullet journal method in my notebook. Even that delineating line on the left hand page. And that's just because it works for me and I know that at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I know what I'm doing, I've checked all my tasks, I'm in a good place and I also don't have to think too hard about how I'm going to set up the next week or month. And it took a while for me to get here. I feel like all of last year I was playing with different layouts, you know, somewhat similar, but I did have to tweak it here and there. And now I've landed on this layout and it's really working for me. So I'm not going to change it, even though it sometimes can get a little boring. At least it's just one less thing I have to think about every week. Anyway. I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm just going to stick down these stickers and enjoy the moment. Okay, now time to decorate my monthly dashboard, which really it's not very handy. <laughs> I don't really use this page, but it's a nice way to introduce the month in my notes pages. I use these stamps every month in my dashboard and they are from AliExpress. I don't have the specific links because I bought them quite some time ago, but I'm sure they're still available if you look hard enough. <laughs> I'm using this Shachihara stamp pad. It's um, just regular black ink and it is my favourite stamp pad. I find that it dries quick enough and it's a good black and I really like the size of the pad. And of course it doesn't bleed through the Tomoe River paper as much as other stamp pads would. Thank you. 
I really stuffed that one up. Um, I don't know if you can see it just to the right there. That did not stamp well. It's okay, this page isn't functional. So I'm just going to ignore that it even happened. <laughs> I also recently bought this thing called a stamp chamois. I was going to purchase a new pack of baby wipes which I used to clean my my stamps but I discovered that this exists. This one is by Lawn Fawn but I think you can get non-branded ones for a lot cheaper. Um, anyway, this is a more eco-friendly way of cleaning your stamps as opposed to using baby wipes which you dispose of after every use. So that's a new thing and I've been enjoying it so far. Okay, dashboard is done and now I'm going to do my Eisenhower matrix which is how I manage my rolling monthly tasks. So here I just use a ruler and a Sakura Pigma Micron felt tip marker to draw four quadrants. And I don't really um, measure this out, I just kind of eyeball it and hope for the best and in the end I mean if it's not perfect it's fine I'm just writing notes in these boxes anyway what I don't want from this hobby is having to perfect everything because that will just suck the fun out of it anyway that's my mindset uh, with this Eisenhower matrix I use my Happy Mail Studios sticker sheet. It has the four labels for my matrix. Okay, so that's the four quadrants with the labels and I'll migrate my tasks over from July come the 1st of August. And now what I'll just show you is how I would set up my weekly pages. Like I mentioned earlier, I have a specific layout that I use every week and I start that with my habit tracker. So this is my habits label, also from Happy Mail Studios. And underneath this, I use my week strips, um, which is a Monday start. And it is perfectly scaled to fit the 3.55 millimeter grid. And it looks like I have six spaces, so six grids that I leave for my habits, and then that is followed by my meals tracker. Just counting this again and marking off the six grids plus two spaces and then I'll pop down my meals sticker and I usually try to have the first three letters of that label the heading label placed just before the delineating line and for my meals tracker I use my vertical week strips so habits is the horizontal week strips and meals is vertical. And following that, I have my tasks. So I interchange this. Sometimes I use my inbox stickers. Sometimes I'll use tasks. And I also have a to-do sticker as well. Sorry, I guess I'm mentioning my stickers quite a bit here. Shameless plug. <laughs> Um, but they are genuinely what I use in my notebook and this is my plan with me video um, so yeah I'm pretty much set up now for August I still can't believe we're in August already 
but that also means September is just around the corner and that means Hobonichi season. I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, here is my August spread. And then I've got my week's pages with the decorative pieces on the bottom right hand side. Just quickly flip through those pages. And here is my August dashboard in my notes pages, smudges and all, and my Eisenhower matrix for my monthly rolling tracker. That's everything I wanted to show you today. Thanks for sticking around and I apologize for my croaky voice. I just had the cold a couple weeks ago, so recovering from that. Anyway, please hit the like button if you liked this video. It really helps me out. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of content. I post about stationery, planning, journaling, and uh, perhaps more in the future as well. Thank you again for sticking around and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!